Hi, this is Eric Schmidt, Vice President and General Manager of the Columbus Radio Group. I just wanted to take a moment to send a hearty congratulations to Dr. Kavitko on his 600th episode of The Reasons We Smile, which airs every Sunday morning from 7.30 to 8 here on Sunday 95. 600 episodes over 11 and a half years. It not only demonstrates his dedication, but most importantly, Dr. Kavitko's passion for doing what he truly loves to do, and that is to make us smile. Dr. Kavitko, from the entire Columbus Radio Group family, Thank you for 11 and a half years of giving us something to smile about and all the smiles you'll bring to us and our listeners in the future. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko, or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 600. Can you believe it? Episode number 600. Thank you so much for joining me. What we're going to do is we are we have a special guest again. We have Dr. Kenny Edmonds. He's in the studio with us. And you might remember, he's the awesome young dentist that is going to be joining me in my practice. And he was on a couple weeks ago, and we said it'd be in a couple weeks, but it didn't happen in a couple weeks. It's probably going to happen in a couple more. But anyway, you might wonder why I'm having Dr. Edmonds on my 600th show. It's because the first 599 are history, and Dr. Edmonds is the future. How about that? Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> that's cool, right? <laughs> but before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and please go to my office Facebook page and like us, it's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. All episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And we're not going to be streaming live on Facebook this time, but uh, we'll get it next week. Okay, I also want to remind you that in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. All you have to do is listen to us talk, and you're going to learn a little bit about Dr. Edmonds, and that's what the questions will be. So, And we try to make it so easy, you could probably just guess. Anyway, if you want to pre-program the phone number into your uh, phone now, it's 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So, yep, let's get on with the show. Episode number 600. So, Dr. Edmonds, welcome again. Thank you. Great Thank to you be so back. much for uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for being on the show. And uh, the last time you were on the show, I said specifically we weren't going to cover everything because we're going to have you on several times. Yes. But let me just tell people we covered that you were born in L.A. Parents moved to Orem, Utah when you were three, right? That's right. And you're the second oldest of six siblings. Your dad um, involved frequent travel, his occupation, which allowed you to go to Japan, Australia, Germany, and Israel. And then in high school, you thought you wanted to be an architect, but uh, you took some design and drafting courses, and then you decided to do what? So at that point, I decided I wanted to... Uh, maybe go into business or accounting. That was in college. And then uh, from there, finally made my way around to dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> it was, a, I think like most people, I, I, I kind of went a, through a spectrum of choices before I landed on what really fit me. Well, you know, you have to, you have to enjoy what you do. If you enjoy what you do for a living, it doesn't feel like work, right? So hopefully... Um, you've, you, it sounds like you've made the right choice because you seem to like what you do and it, it shows. And so you're, uh, heading into a career, a lot of years of, uh, not feeling like you ever worked yeah. a day in your life. Yeah. That, I mean, dentistry is amazing. I mean, you see something new every day. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot, but it's a lot of really good. So I'm grateful to be a part of it. Cool. Now we talked last time that you are a musician, that you play clarinet, a little bit of sax because it's cooler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we had a picture of you playing uh, bass guitar, right? Yeah, that's right. So you still play both? I still play both. I uh, don't pick up the clarinet or saxophone as often as I used to, but bass I, I've got at home. You know, we my wife plays acoustic guitar and oh, wow. piano, and uh, we jam every now and then. So next next step is uh, me and you. 
Okay. Starting the little. Uh, That's right, a garage band. <laughs> and got I think... the, the rhythm section right here. <laughs> Sounds good. No, we'll have to, you know, just for fun, because it is fun. Yeah, it's a lot know? of fun. And it's something you never want to say I used to do, right? Right. Yeah, that's the way I am. Yeah. So uh, I didn't have your curriculum Vita last time, but I do this time. Go figure, huh? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your Doctor of Dental Surgery from the Ohio State University College of Dentistry in uh, this year in May of uh, 2019. That's right, yeah. Class ranked 29. That's really high. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, you had your business in min- business management, your BS in business management, and entrepreneurship emphasis. Yes. So kind of thought you might follow your dad's footsteps, huh? Yeah. You know, I uh, my my dad has started a couple businesses, and he he's an attorney, um, but he, his passion's always been in small business, and that's what really got me interested in business. Was I I worked for a company that he founded, uh, doing accounting in the front office. And I really enjoyed the work. I, I loved um, the HR aspect, you know, finding people and uh, building a team. And I, I really loved the financial aspect, too. I did a lot of uh, accounting reports. And so that's what I thought I wanted to do. I was convinced that, you know, accounting was for me. But it turns out what I liked about accounting was business management. And um, I I knew that I wanted to go into healthcare for you know when when i started studying accounting i thought maybe healthcare administration or something along those lines um but after shadowing some doctors and uh, eventually a dentist i i realized you know what dentistry is perfect for me because i get to hang on to that business management aspect of things and um work with people um do do things that are um, helping get people out of pain, help improve quality of life is just kind of the perfect mesh of all the things I was interested in. Cool. And you mentioned, uh, when you were doing some shadowing and off the air, we were talking a little bit about on the show you were on a couple of weeks ago, I asked you who was the dentist, who was the person that really kind of inspired you and you had that aha moment yeah. and, um, who was it? I think you gave the wrong name. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, my wife was listening to the show and realized, uh, reminded me that uh, there was someone who'd really impacted me early on. He wasn't the very first dentist I shadowed, oh, he but he was one of the first. Okay. And his name is Dr. Eric Vogel. Um, he founded a nonprofit in, in my hometown called Share a Smile. And it's a, a dental nonprofit that treats um, underprivileged members of the community. And the way it works is that the people who were receiving dental care uh, volunteered at a food and care coalition for the city and they would do things like either janitorial work or um, help prepare or deliver meals for um, homeless uh, homeless shelters and the number of hours of service that they completed was used to determine the what they could and couldn't receive as far as care at the the dental clinic and so it was kind of kind of a half and a, a way to get them involved and people that needed dental care involved in the community, um, but still being a much more affordable option than um, paying out of pocket for dental care. such a cool program. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to look into one here in Columbus. I think it's a really cool idea and it it doesn't, it it really involves a lot of, uh, requires a lot of community involvement and you need to have the right type of city to run something like that. But uh, I assisted the dentists there for, three years during my undergrad and I learned, I learned a lot about dentistry and then just also about uh, community service and what difficulties people face when they're, you know, underprivileged, they can't afford their to uh, make ends meet that, that really touched and affected me and is something I want to continue. So what was his name again? Cause Eric he, Vogel, Dr. Eric Vogel. And you said yeah. he's since passed yeah, away. He passed away. He, he had a, uh, pretty severe, um, facial cancer actually. And, uh, his, his wife located a tumor. Um, just, I I think it was only, you know, 10 years ago, uh, he passed away in 2015, but it it was really aggressive. And, um, was he very old? He wasn't very old. He was, uh, I want to say he was late fifties or early sixties when he passed away. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. He had eight kids and, uh, Fortunately, they were all out of the house, but that's still really uh, it's just yeah, a stressful that's really, thing and yeah. awful for family to have to go through. But he kept working right up until the end. Wow! I was I was shadowing him on days when um, he wasn't doing so hot, and I I just 
really, really admire him. And he, he made a huge impact on my life. Good. So we want to remember him. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Eric Vogel. Yeah. Sounds like it might be Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. It could be. That's, okay. a, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's keep that in mind. So, okay. Now, um, we talked a lot about some of the things that you did, but we, we purposely didn't cover everything because we wanted to save some for this show and another show. And so one of the things I noticed is that um, you achieved rank of Eagle Scout at age 17. That's that's right. really cool. Yeah, and if you know a lot about Boy Scouts, you have to get your Eagle before you turn 18. So I, I was uh, 17 and 10 months <laughs> when I got my finally got my Eagle. Uh, but Boy Scouts were a big part of my growing up. I, yeah. I was involved in a lot of scout camps, leadership camps. Um, I had, you know, merit badge powwows. And that really helped me learn discipline early on was being a Boy Scout. Discipline, respect. Um, yeah. Understanding nature, respecting nature, yeah. right? Being able to fend for yourself, maybe survive yeah. in the wilderness if you have to. Be prepared, you know, leave no trace. Um, yeah, re just re respect people, respect nature, respect yourself. Um, I think the scouting program is incredible and does a really amazing job of helping uh, young boys be well-rounded as they're entering adulthood and Help them deciding turn into what men. they want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I bet they learn to open the door for women and take their hat off yeah. at a restaurant, yeah. things like that, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, that's really cool. And then from 2008, let me see how much. Oh, you know what? Looks like we probably should do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Uh, now, because it looks like we're running into that time. So remember, it's Dr. Eric Vogel is the dentist who started the nonprofit. What was it called again? Share a Smile. Share a Smile. And he's one of the uh, primary people that inspired Dr. Edmonds to uh, become a dentist. And, mm -hmm. and so we want to remember him. Okay, but before we do the contest, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, and the question of the day is, there's a dentist that inspired Dr. Edmonds to become a dentist. And his name is true or false? His name is Dr. Edmonds. What is it? Eric Vogel. Dr. Eric Vogel. Is that true or is that false? All right. The winner is going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind And there's nothing else hidden in the world tonight She said people don't take the time Hey, people don't take the time Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Joe.
Hannah, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, would my producer please tell me who is the winner of Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Who knew that the correct answer was true? Dr. Dr. Eric Vogel. Dr. Eric Vogel. Exactly. The winner of the free flowers this morning is Jeffrey in Gehanna. Congratulations to our winner. Thanks so much for calling in and winning the flowers from DeSantis and the rest of you that weren't able to win today. Please call back next week. All right. So if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is the 600th episode of The Reasons We Smile. Today, my special guest is Dr. Kenny Edmonds, and he is a young dentist that's uh, joining me. So uh, those of you that want to come to us, you can, you'll get to meet and maybe have Dr. Edmonds work on you, but we're trying to learn a little bit about him. We're trying to learn a lot about him, actually, maybe more than he wants to say. <laughs> so far, so good, Doc? So far, so good, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So right before the break, right before Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, I was about to talk to you about how uh, from 2008 till 2010, you served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to Stockholm, Sweden. That's right, yeah. That sounds pretty exciting. It was very exciting. Tell yeah, me about it. Uh, so members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints all commonly serve a mission trip before starting college and after high school, and we're sent to wherever the greatest need is for the church. And I was sent to Stockholm, Sweden. It was a two-year mission trip where I was primarily teaching people about the church and helping people learn more about the Bible and also the Book of Mormon. And then I was doing a lot of uh, community service too. I became fluent in Swedish, which is uh, pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, you can, can, still, can you still I speak can, it? I can still speak it, yeah. If, you, if anyone uh, out there speaks Swedish and wants someone to talk to, come find me. <laughs> I can also do some Norwegian, Danish, not so much, but Norwegian and Swedish are really close. Really? Yeah. And uh, my wife's uncle lived in Norway from age 18 till recently. And so his kids were born and raised in Norway. And whenever they come into town, I get to speak with them in Norwegian a little bit. So that's a lot of fun. So if you want to talk to Dr. Edmonds in Swedish, his, the phone number yeah. uh, is going to be <laughs> 614-262-9588. And also, my wife and I, we hosted a Swedish foreign exchange student. I, how did we not talk about this yet? I, I know. We missed that one. Wow. See, that's why we're going through the list yeah. slow. Yeah. So uh, Sweden's an incredible country. There's a lot to do there. And everyone speaks English. Age 8 to 60 everyone speaks English. They, they learn in school and on TV. And uh, that was one of the biggest challenges for me personally, because I wanted to learn Swedish, you know, and uh -huh. I, I'd come in there sounding more American than I'd care to admit. And they'd say, hey, don't hurt yourself. I speak English. Oh, and I'd say, hey, <laughs> oh, that's great. But I really want to learn Swedish. Do you mind if we speak in Swedish? So uh, after, you know, five or six months in the country, you finally start to get taken seriously. But oh, okay. It took the, that long? Yeah. The first few months, they're tough. I think it's true of any, uh, anytime you're living outside of the United States, somewhere where they speak a foreign language, it's, it's a whole getting your head wrapped around new vocabulary and new cultural norms. It's, it's really tough. But I lived in Gothenburg or Yetabori for the first few months I was there. And yeah. then I was moved over to Stockholm and I spent the better part of a year and a half in Stockholm. Because that's where Sam was from, Stockholm. He was from Stockholm? Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. In fact, uh, in our front yard, we have a we planted a little tree on Arbor Day that year, and I refer to it as the Branting tree because Samuel Branting. Yeah. And I'll show it to you. Show you a picture. It's it's huge now. He was 18. My oldest son at the time, our oldest son, was 17. That's the the son that's now 38. So yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 21 years ago. So we still see his Facebook posts. Not they're not in English anymore. <laughs> They're all and so they're all Swedish. They're all Swedish, <laughs> and the translation is really weird. So we're pretty sure it's not translating properly. Yeah, sometimes that's tough. 
doesn't quite get it just right. But he was looking for, he, he kept asking uh, for a couple of things and we were trying to figure out what it was. One was a yakket <laughs> and we're like, what's a, yak? what's a yakket, right? <laughs> Turns out it's a jacket. Yeah. And then the other one was he was looking for lingonberry yam and lingonberry yam is actually cranberry sauce, but it, close to very it. close. Yeah. It's not the same thing. They're yeah. lingonberries instead of cranberries. Right. But my wife, I think actually bought some cran. When she figured out what he was saying, she bought some cranberry sauce and gave it to him and didn't tell him it wasn't lingonberry yam, that it was cranberry yam. Yeah. And, <laughs> and he didn't like, know the difference. This is great. This yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so, it's cool because uh, Ikea's carry lingonberry and uh, that's right. a lot of other Swedish uh, favorites. So I will say the quality is not as good as in the country, but it's it's a good second place. So my yeah. wife and I do <coughs> Ikea meals a lot. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and I, uh, last time we went, we wanted to eat dinner there and they had some kind of a function, some kind of somebody had rented out the restaurant or something. And so we could, everything was open, but the restaurant. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe the four of us will have to go. Yeah. Well, and Mindy too. Right. Okay, we'll have to go to dinner at. I'm telling you, folks, it's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's fast. Yeah. You can see what you're going to get. It's all there. They have uh, cold dishes, hot dishes. It's not a commercial for IKEA, yeah, but I know. It's but it does. 600th episode sponsored by IKEA. <laughs> that would be nice, you know. Yeah, it Maybe would. we should talk to them. <laughs> I know. I always say, hey, I, I actually speak Swedish. Does that mean I get a discount? And, and, and it hasn't worked yet, but... Do you say it in Swedish? <laughs> no. Oh, Maybe that's you, the problem. Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> I can tell the people so far I've interacted with are American, but one of these days I'm going to find a Swede in, in Ikea. That'll be a magic day. You know, what we might have to do, we might have to get your help in reaching out to Sam. Yeah. Because we, we, he seems to have either lost his English or decided not to use it anymore. Mm. And so we don't have any way of uh, communicating with him. So we might just maybe just a short paragraph or two that yeah. you, we can write on Facebook. You can write it in Swedish for us, right? Right, yeah. Okay. I'd be happy That'll to keep that. you sharp. Yeah. Well, that's good to know when my wife hears that. If she's listening, <laughs> and she is, she listens to all the shows, she'll be happy too. Because she was just saying the other day, you know, I don't really see Sam's Facebook posts any, as much anymore. And it didn't matter that we were seeing, them. well, we saw the pictures, but the actual words, the translation that comes through was so odd, you knew it couldn't yeah. be right. It just couldn't be right. Well, what, what a cool coincidence. Yeah. I lived there for a couple of years. You hosted yeah. someone here. Uh -huh. Sam Samuel Branting. He's married with kids now, and uh, I'll show you his picture when we get okay. off the air. Oh, cool. All right, so let's see. It looks like we're close to where we need to go to another break, but when we come back, I want to find out about how you met your wife, Chrissy. I want to learn a little bit about her, you know, because this is about getting to know Dr. Edmonds, right? Right. Okay, so let's do that. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, our 600th episode. We're here with Dr. Kenny Edmonds, and we'll be right back. You can't take me as I am. Just a little bit I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su sesión favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service By becoming a sponsor Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> All right, we're back. If you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 600 of The Reasons We Smile. In the studio with me is Dr. Kinney Edmonds. And the reason I hesitate is, I think we talked about this the first show, it's Dr. 
Kinnison Edmonds. Yeah, with my a, full name is Kinnison with an I. With an I. Yeah. So people think I'm saying Kenny wrong. Yeah. But it's really Kenny. You're doing it right. They're wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I always good. tell people it's skinny without the S. There you go. That's, That's a good way to remember. Yeah. That's awesome. You never forget. Okay. From now on. <laughs> Not to mention that you're kind of thin. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> I used to be. It's visual and it's ap- applicable. So applicable. It's perfect, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So uh, you went to Brigham Young University. That's where you decided yes. to study accounting and then you mm-hmm. changed your mind. We talked about that but that's where you met your wife right yeah so she my wife's name is Chrissy Edmonds she's from St. Louis Missouri and it was actually my very first class at BYU Brigham Young University very first class was a biology 100 level course that uh Chrissy was taken as a general and I was also taking just as a general course because at that point I didn't know I wanted to do dentistry. Mm-hmm. If I'd known at that point, I wouldn't have even taken that class because they had you to go have different rounds. That's, yep. Oh, so wow. It, Talk it about serendipity, meant right? Meant to be, yeah. And so we were part of a group project. Um, we we were both really into each other but didn't know it. We, we Really? <laughs> we were too, I was too shy to start anything and Chrissy was too patient to push me into anything that she thought I might not not Be ready want, for yeah exactly war. so i i kind of dra- i dragged my feet for a few months before i got the guts to start a relationship <laughs> but we ended up taking a tennis class that summer and um she went on a study abroad and uh we wrote the whole time that she was uh, in the uk on the study abroad and then she got back and we dated for a year and a half and then got married. So that, okay, so that she was, was gone for two years? No, no. Oh, so was... I was just over that summer. Oh, yeah. just one summer. Okay. Yeah, so she, she got back in August. She left in June or July. And then when, when she got back in August, we started dating and couldn't That's get cool. enough of each other. We just spent every waking minute together for a That's year awesome. and a half before That's getting great. married. So, yeah. That's a little bit like my wife and I. And by the way, I see I've been spelling Chrissy wrong. Oh, yeah. C-H-R-I-S-S-E. Yeah. So Chrissy, you know, that's a that's a funny thing about us. We both have oddly spelled normal names. Um, <laughs> so one thing we promised was our kids are all going to have very normally spelled names because okay. <laughs> as much as we like being unique, it's it's tough when <laughs> your name gets spelled wrong all the time. That's why you just went with Mindy. Yeah. You can't mess that up. Our daughter's name is Mindy, M-I-N-D-Y. You cannot mess that up. (laughs) It's not Mandy, not Mendy, not Mondy. (laughs) She's Mindy. She's just Mindy. (laughs) And and obviously I have a daughter named Mindy. Yeah. So, uh, well, that's really neat because I was kind of like you. I was uh, shy and my wife uh, had interest that I was dropping hint after hint after hint that I wasn't seeing apparently. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> you still guess, hear about that? I still day? hear yeah, about I that too. <laughs> <laughs> on a regular basis. That's funny. So then, um, she's from St. Louis, Missouri, and um, you said she's an avid reader, comp- yeah. accomplished pianist, and the love of your life. That's right. Awesome. She's all those things. I think last year she read. Uh, she's going to correct me, but it was around seventy books. Oh my god, seventy books! Seventy books. Yeah. Books. I'm Isn't trying to crazy? think that's six a month or more. Yeah, something like that. What is that? Yeah. A six, just just under six just, a month. Yeah, just under six. Well, well, at least I can do the math. I can't do the reading, but I can do the math. <laughs> yeah, if she'd read two more, that would have been six six a month. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? You should tell her she, she read two too few. Yeah. Because the math's too hard. More, but I could be wrong. It could have <laughs> been like 65 or something, but it was, it was close to 70. Wow. So I get all my recommendations from her. She she's just reading everything. So that's awesome. Yeah, and she's getting a PhD in sociology. Yes, she okay. is. She's currently working on her dissertation, and she's studying uh, how Alzheimer's caring for parents with Alzheimer's affects the financial well-being of children. Wow, that's yeah. really neat. And what does she want to do once she gets her she uh, PhD? She would love to teach at a university. That's her uh, her passion is uh, academia teaching and. Um, She'll be applying for jobs in 2021. So we happen to have a university here. Uh, big yeah, one. we have several <laughs> great universities. We actually in do, Ohio, don't we? So yeah, it's not just Ohio State. There's Columbus mm-hmm. State. There's what Denison. There's um, yeah. Otterbein, and oh gee, you could probably name a few yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, they're just uh, all um, um, Kenyon and um, yeah, they're. they're uh, we're really well known for having a lot of uh, yeah. academia going on. That's yeah, that's a big plus about living here. Is there are a lot of options as far as higher education goes? So it's a really great market. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you welcomed Mindy into your family in 2017. What's her birthday, yes. by the way? September 30th. Uh, so mine's September 1st. So we're the, kind of the bookends of September. I'm the first day. She's Chrissy? the last. And uh, then what no, about Mindy and I? Oh, Mindy and you. Yeah. So Chrissy's uh, March 29th. Okay. 
So you're, oh, and you're expecting a second child. Yeah, we just found out that second child is a girl. Oh. So we've got girl number two on the way, early December. Uh, the due date's the second, but as we know, that's not always accurate, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> we'll have to get an update. Yeah. You know what, Dr. Edmonds, I'm having so much fun, and I want to do this again, but I'm looking at the clock, and I think we might be out of time. Okay, well, that's So the... we're going to have to pick it up on another day, right? Yes. Okay, let's make sure we do that. All right, so, okay, folks, looks like that's all the time we have today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Dr. Kavitko, and visit my office Facebook page. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates, and like us, please. Remember that all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. 